So my name's Eva and I'm a consultant trichologist. I've worked in the hair industry for over 18 years. I've worked with some really major brands like Dyson, L'Oreal, Weller, Schwarzkopf, you name them, I've worked with them. I'm very, very passionate about the hair and scalp. I trained as a trichologist with the Institute of Trichology. They're 117 years old and, in my opinion, probably give the best trichological training there is out there. And so now I spend my days in 10 clinics around the UK, working with everything to do with the hair and the scalp and down to the chin. First thing I would do in a consultation is I'd ask lots of questions. It's not because I'm nosy, They're all, they'd all be relevant to the hair and scalp. And I would try to find out things about their lifestyle, their hair care routine, their nutrition, their health background. And then I'd examine it and we would work out exactly what the condition is because there's lots and lots of different conditions. So typically in a lady of that kind of age, it could be one of two conditions. Um, the first condition is called telogen effluvium. It's not a hair loss condition, it's a disruption to the way the hair grows. But it's quite frightening, quite distressing. You get extra hair shedding, you see it in the shower, in the brush, on your clothes and it thins throughout the head and it also thins the hairline as well. It's completely correctable. What we have to do is identify what the trigger or the underlying causative factors are and then we can get that density back. Of course they also need a good shampoo and conditioner and we would advise on that at the same time. If it was something that was more hair loss related like androgenetic female pattern then we'd be looking at things that stop the spread of the pattern. So we'd be looking for things like DHT blockers to stop the, the action of DHT miniaturising the hair. We'd be looking at products that have got protein molecules in there to thicken the hair. Once I've established what's happening, so for example androgenetic alopecia, which is female pattern hair loss, can be male pattern. Um, we'd be looking at treating the whole problem. So one of the problems is DHT, which miniaturises the hair, and I'd be looking at a proven treatment like minoxidil, but I'd also be adding in a serum like the cell serum that's got sulpalmetto in there that blocks the DHT naturally, um, works much better towards the centre of the head than to the front, but it's also got lots of stimulating properties as well because it's very important to stimulate the microcirculation of the scalp to get those follicles active and to get that hair to be as full and to last in the growing phase for as long as possible. So I'd combine hair care and pharmaceuticals. So if you're on a treatment path, you should start to see treatments using the cell products within around four months. And four months because that's the length of a growth cycle. So naturally um, shed hair has shed, new hair is regrowing, going back into the growth phase. So over that duration, you should see the effects of the cell products. <music>